Today on the channel, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here, as we got an interesting, a little bit different version of That's So Hard to Say Goodbye. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for a continuing saga what's coming and what is going more importantly from my collection as this is another episode of that's so hard to say goodbye episode 21 of course a lot of things come in really on a daily basis but not a lot of stuff does leave my collection i'm a collector i'm in it for the fandom i'm in it for the figures i'm in it for the display i'm not really in it for the money and making uh, an investment back and that's kind of a loaded little answer or quote there because Obviously, you know, one day I call it quits or I die or whatever, there's going to be value here. But I don't think a lot of it as value. I think about it, the passion, the fun of collecting. And that's what keeps it fun. Uh, it's not a money making business. I always say it if you want to invest in something, invest in your 401k. That's probably going to get you better returns because action figures, the ebbs and flows, it's all over the place. And there's always something latest and greatest coming behind it that might take the place of something old, a repaint, a refresh, a re release. You never know what might happen there. However, in this episode of That's So Hard to Say Goodbye, we're doing it for the money like a young Ted DiBiase here, and I'm going to talk about it in this very video. But like I said, sometimes you got a lot of stuff coming in, you don't got a lot of stuff going. When I do have something going for my collection, it is usually because I'm not feeling it anymore. I'm over it. I don't want it. I've changed my habits. I'm saying, hey, I'm not going to collect this line anymore. That's when something leaves my collection. Now, what we're going to talk about here today is something that I still like. I still think it's pretty cool. However, it doesn't really fit my collection. And if you go back to one of the early episodes of That's So Hard to Say Goodbye, probably like episode three or four, I got rid of my entire collection of these action figures, except for this one. I kept onto this, had this displayed, always look at it and say I like it, but it doesn't fit the rest of my collection. I don't know why I have it. However, this weekend here, I said, you know what? I got an offer I can't refuse. It's time to let this go out of my collection where it's at a bit of an all-time high at least. And that is something nice here is sometimes we have things in our collection we're not feeling and the price is really skyrocketing because of certain reasons and it's a perfect time to sell and that's what I decided to here today. What are we talking about? Long way to get there of course. We're going to the Sting. The evolution of Sting. Marvel Toy Biz box set right here looking very very cool. One of the all-time great box sets evolution of sting throughout his career a very fun looking pack here a very fun set however like i said i do not collect this line i like sting i am a little stinger of course i came up in the era of being a little stinger so i did hold on to this just because i like sting we do know of course sting final match on march 3rd calling it a career after a long long career Finally calling it quits, and with that comes a lot of Sting hype. We saw it from AEW and the Jazzwares group. A lot of Sting figures this week. New Sting t-shirts, new Sting like wrestling buddy things. Sting mania, micro brawlers, you name it. A lot of stuff going out there with Sting because a lot of people are reminiscing, thinking about Sting, creating an all-time high for stuff like that. And stuff like this, if you have Sting figures, now is the time to unload it because there's an extra attention, extra detail around Sting. Prices are up, and that's what gets me to this right here. I said, you know what? I'm going to pick this one up here. I'm going to sell this. I don't really need it in my collection anymore. Uh, and sometimes, you know, I usually sell stuff just because I'm not feeling it. This one, I'm still feeling a little bit. I feel like it could go to a better home. It doesn't fit my collection, and uh, it's at an all-time high. And like I said, it's not about the money always, but I said, you know what? If I'm going to sell this a year from now, uh, I'll eventually get around to it. Now is really the time. So you're a fool if you don't make as much money you can out of anything you're selling. That's just the way it goes. You want to get as much as you can for it. And that's where we're at right here with this one. And of course, my daughter, she wants an Xbox. I don't know if she needs an Xbox or not, but she did tell me, hey, I need an Xbox. Maybe I'll sell this and put that towards an Xbox for her or something like that. We'll see what happens. Not sure what I'll do with the money, but 
It's sad to say goodbye to Sting, but I got a lot of Sting figures in my collection. I got a lot more to come, I have to imagine. I don't think we're done with Sting figures just because he's retired. And I wouldn't be shocked to see another evolution of Sting one of these days. Jazzwares could easily do this. Uh, I did talk to Jeremy Padauer at San Diego Comic-Con. It sounds like there's no issues with doing a Surfer Sting. Seems like they're just laying in wait for that day. We'll see what happens. But I think a modern evolution of Sting box set is something we could see in the future. And I think most of us would be here for it all day long. And as we say twice on Sunday. But Sting, he's got to leave my collection. Got to get out when the selling's at an all-time high. That's what you got to do from time to time. No doubt about it. And that's what I'm doing with this Sting set. It is hard to say goodbye, but it must be done. Not quite for science, but it must be done. And that's what we're doing here today. So it's so hard to say goodbye to the Evolution of Sting Toy Biz box set. So there it is. That's what I'm getting rid of this time. What about you guys and gals? Anything you're getting rid of this time? Anything going out of your collection right now? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Of course, two YouTube channels going right now. And of course, Patreon. You get early access to all these videos and things like this on the Patreon channel. Patreon, your best way to support the channel, as you guys do know. You can also go to ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget Amazon and Barnes & Noble for my latest book here. I guess my first book, kind of. Uh, my first book here, The Complete Guide to the Jax Class Superstars, available on Amazon right now. Almost 700 full-color pages of the entire line from my personal collection. I took the pictures from all of my collection here, and it's all in this book. Head over to Amazon, pick up your copy if that interests you. And of course, don't forget to follow me on social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the evolution of saying and saying goodbye, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.